What have they done to you? What have you done? What have you done? You got no faith. You know, you got uh, National Day of Prayer. Okay, let's see if it changes anything. I like to show up with a cold and see if they pray for me if I'm healed. If I still walk out sick, there's a problem. How about a national day of humble yourself and pray? How about a national day of humble yourself and pray that you get right before God and forget about what the world's doing because it doesn't matter. Just the part of and turn from your wicked ways. Yeah, the turn from your wicked ways is, again, they don't like to talk about that. moving on. <laughs> be sober, be vigilant, because your adversary the devil as a roaring lion walketh about seeking whom he may devour. Verse 9. This is all of this to get to this part. Verse 9. Whom surrender to? Is that what it says, Phil? What? No. You weren't paying attention? No. <laughs> what else is new? <laughs> Read me, Phil, loudly, verse 9. Whom, res whom resist? Who are we have? supposed to resist? The no. devil. Okay, read it again. Whom resist steadfast in the faith, knowing that the same afflictions are accomplished in your brethren that are in the world. Okay, look. Whom what? Resist. 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 What's a resistance movement? Someone that just rolls over and takes it? No. Or someone that resists the move of the enemy? With as much fervor as we resist our husband taking away the money. Right? <laughs> if that Second works death. for you, if that one more, one more, more. Resist. Resist. We are in a war. If we look at resistance, the resistance was there to disrupt the enemy, to to, to demoralize the enemy, to break their will to be where you live, right? That was the resistance's job. When are we going to start? When are we going to start breaking his will to be where we live? He spent a lot of time breaking our will. I think it's about time we break his will. Amen? That's right. Let's break his will. It's like, you know what? This town, off limits. My family, off limits. You have all that world you can go play with right here. You can't come here. You're not allowed here. Who will join me in the resistance? Who will join me saying enough is enough. You're done here. Get out. He will not go quietly. So if you're ready to join... You be, better be ready for a fight. You better be ready for a fight. But guess what? Our commander-in-chief has already won. Amen? Amen? In the world you will have tribulation, but what? Be of good cheer. I have what? Overcome the world. I am done having him that is the enemy in my house, in my family, in my city, in my little town here. I'm done. He can leave. He's been trying to run me out. I think it's time we run him out. Amen? How many of us are here in Cottageville? I'm going to count Paul and Philip. I mean, we've got, and hope to. I mean, if ten righteous could hold back God's judgment in Sodom and Gomorrah, what could five or six people do in Cottageville? Seven. Goodness. I mean, all Carlton County doesn't stand a chance. Amen? Amen. But, hey, the more righteous people we get on board... The more, the more impact we'll have. Amen? But it's going to take us doing what? Resisting the devil and standing fast in Christ. And I guarantee you, I guarantee you, he's going to hit hard. I guarantee you. And he's going to hit 
at your most sensitive areas. <laughs> That's right. That's the way he works. He's going to test your faith. And your faith is going to be tried. And your resolve is going to be tried. And he's going to try and break you. Cast all your care upon him. Amen? Amen. That's what will keep you through. That's what will pull you through. Loving one another will pull you through. Amen. Having hospitality one to another without grudging will pull you through. We're a body. We're a family. We help one another. Amen? Amen. You come to my office anytime you need it. Too. Right? Brad, you come over anytime you need it. Sue, even you can come anytime you need it. You can phone, Joe. <laughs> you need to be going. The key word is need. <laughs> Rick, I need to some Gears of War too. You know, Philip. I think I need that too. I'm feel. I'm feeling some co-op. I need it. I need. Yeah. I don't just want it. I, I need it. it. <laughs> We can see a difference. And it just takes a few people. It takes one person to make a stand. It speeds up the process when you get more people standing with you. And I'm asking you today, and I'm asking those guys online, y'all are, <coughs> y'all are God's seeds planted in the midst of dry and desolate places. And he's ready to water you. He's ready to bring the rain. And I hope you're ready to receive it. And I hope you're ready to become that powerful force that God wants you to be. But you got to die first. Just like the seed before it can become a plant has to die. That's what, that's what he's been doing to us. We all feel it. Right? We all feel it. Die to self. Die to self. Be alive to God. That's what he's calling us to do. Lord, I thank you for your word. I ask that you help us to get in this fight in a real way, Lord. Father, that you strengthen us and keep us. Lord, I know <clears throat> that with a fight comes pain loss but if we're standing in the end with you that's all I care about I thank you Lord in Jesus name Amen <clears throat>